This video is about some special trig integrals, namely the integral of tangent squared of x and the integral of secant of x. These integrals are special only in the sense that there's some special tricks required to integrate them. When I come across the integral of tangent squared x, I find myself wishing that I could integrate secant squared x instead, because integrating secant squared x is easy. It's just tangent x plus c, since the derivative of a tangent is secant squared. But happily, I know how to rewrite tangent squared in terms of secant, because tangent squared is secant squared minus 1. So I'll just rewrite this integral as the integral of secant squared minus 1, and that integrates easily to tangent of x minus x plus c. The same sort of trick works to integrate cotangent squared of x, since there's a similar identity relating cotangent and cosecant. Every now and then, you have to integrate secant of x. There are several possible tricks that can be used to do this. One of them is to multiply secant x by secant x plus tangent x in the numerator and denominator. Now distributing, we get secant squared x plus secant x tangent x in the numerator and secant x plus tangent x in the denominator. Since secant squared is the derivative of tangent and secant tangent is the derivative of secant, we can set u equal to secant x plus tangent x and have du sitting right where we want it in the integrand. So now we just have to integrate 1 over u du, which is the ln of u plus c. And now plugging back in for u, we get that our original integral of secant x evaluates to the natural log of secant x plus tangent x plus a constant. A similar trick can be used to evaluate the integral of cosecant x. And that's all for the integral of tangent squared and the integral of secant.